That egg looks like it's having a little trouble hatching. Maybe I should... Uh-oh. Oh. Ow. Looks like someone tied this ladder down. There's a note. Guys, quit moving my ladder, please. You're really cheesing me off. Signed, Gus. There's a tree, that away, it appears. Take us! Take us down! We are in our prime! Eat our sweet rewards! Wait, wait, wait. I'm not comfortable with that. Yeah, that's a little... Eat our sacred... How about we just skip that line? Okay. We'll return in time. Let our child rise from its rotten bed. Up from a hidden pit. Hey, are you those guards who stole Alex's radiation-proof curtains? Without admitting any wrongdoing, what's it to ya? If you give me back those robes, I promise Alex won't press charges. First of all, we didn't steal anything. Secondly, we're naked under here, so no way you're getting our robes. If you want them, you're gonna have to fight us for them. I'll fight you for those robes, no problem. I need them to help my mom. Oh, that's so sweet. He wants to help his mother. And he's willing to beat us up with a stick to do it. No, I'm not going to beat anybody up, but I will easily disarm the both of you. I've completed several fencing missions with my yarn pals, so if you have another stick handy... We don't have any fencing sticks handy, Mr. Fancy. But if you find one, feel free to come back and try to take our robes from us. Are you guys looking for a tree to talk to? Because I saw one down in the forest that might actually talk back. Oh, no thanks. We know that weirdo. We're here because this is the tree with the fruit. The fruit, that is, the answer. That was really convincing, Courtney. Thanks. I did the pause just like you said. What are you guys doing up here? We are the former dead-eyed druids. Misled and betrayed by a false prophet, we have come to seek wisdom from the tree of answers. Why do you think this tree has answers? Okay, honestly, it wasn't our first choice. We really came up here because we heard about this guru of lightness that a lot of people were following. But apparently he's out of commission. So we remembered this fruit. And since it was the answer to the riddle of Yorn, maybe it's the answer to everything. I'm going to get a stick. And then, we're going to fight for those robes. <laughs> Why don't you go get some yarn instead? <laughs> yeah, we'd love to meet one of your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Just because the fruit was the answer to one riddle... Too many questions! This is a matter of faith! Also, we really need this to work, because we've run out of stuff to believe in. Yeah, we're kind of at the end of our robes. I'll be back. Yeah, that's what the dead eye god said. Long after we are dead. Wait. On guard, druids. Okay, yarn boy. Enough is enough. She's blind, kid. I didn't miss him because I'm blind, Courtney. I missed him because... I can see. I've been... I've been pretending to be blind all these years. <gasps> I never really had the faith like you, Courtney. But I don't have the faith, Dawn. I was pretending too. 
so I could be like you. What? You're not blind? No. In fact, I've been stealing and selling artifacts from the pyramid to save up money to get out of this town. Me too! I would have left long ago, but I didn't want to leave you here. I know how much being a dead-eyed druid meant to you. I haven't wanted to be a druid for years. I want to go to school and study hotel management. I want to study graphic design and start a band. Let's do it. Let's just go. Right now? Right now. But what about our quest to find something to believe in? I did. How about you? That's what I get for learning defense with candy canes. Better take these before those druids get cold and come back. Maybe I should... Mind if I take one of these? Please, spread the word. We might just save some lives here, man. How's the fruit? It's a little on the tangy side, to be honest, but you know, the game is always sweetest to the hunter. So, what kind of hunter are you? I've been trying to get this fruit all day, but I had some issues, and I almost gave up. But I went to the arcade and beat my own high score on 3D Hyper Crypt, and I was like, if I can do that, I can do anything! You know? Of course. Everyone knows video games are good for your self-esteem. What's that thing you're sticking in the fruit? Oh, this little tapper thing? That's so I can skip all the skin and fiber and just drink the juice right away. Juice, you know? That way all the phytonutrients and stuff get in your bloodstream faster. For when you want to get healthy in a big hurry, man. Hey, can I borrow that little fruit tapper? Actually, I've been thinking the acid or something and the fruit is messing with the coating on this thing. I'm giving it a weird taste. You can have it. I'll just squeeze it out natural. Thanks. Don't worry. I don't have a cold or anything. What's the big healthy rush? Well, recently I was all hung up on my own under... on my underlying issues. And I had some time to think. And then this girl hit me. I, I mean, uh, it, it hit me. I need to turn my life around. Then I got that high score at the arcade, and now here I am, the king of health. So why are you going to turn your life around? Well, at first, it was because of this girl, McGee. I imagined her cheering me on through each level in 3D Hypercrypt. But then when I reached the end, I realized, McGee doesn't care about 3D Hypercrypt. She doesn't play video games. No, she thinks the 3D is a gimmick. She only plays the original. But what I'm saying is that the high score, the juicy, it's okay if it's just for me. I'm not doing this to, uh, to impress anybody, you know? That's good. So how are you going to turn your life around? Well, like, what's the next step from here? Uh, probably go back to the arcade, you know, look for another sign. Lots of other high scores to beat, man. Drinking all that juice, don't you have to use the bathroom a lot? I'll let you in on a little secret. When you live in the clouds, you're never very far from a bathroom. Oh, there are people down below. I was just down below. Hey, watch the skies, man. I'll let you get back to your juice. <laughs> Bye.
what would happen if I carefully inserted this tap of... Not very deep, of course. Just into the outer layer of the shell. Uh, I, I was just trying to get a sample. I... That was close. I'd better get out of here before she remembers to kill me. Now look at that. Hmm. Someone's written order and pack with on it. My money's on the big guy. here they all turned on me after all I've done for them <clears throat> what's harmony doing in that cage Heather carried him down here and stuffed him in told us not to let him out said he was getting rid of some trash the town didn't need anymore I'm sure he'll let him back out eventually or maybe a big monster will come and eat him <laughs> <laughs> What happened to this place? Haven't you ever been to the Maiden's Feast? Yes and no. Which is it? No one should ever have to go to a Maiden's Feast. And no one ever will again, if I can have anything to do with it. I'm cool with that. What exactly is a Maiden's Feast? Something we've always had to do. So we were told. And we believed it. We thought it a great honor. We were so happy for Vela. So proud of her. So foolish. So... Maiden's feasts are bad then? My daughter taught us that when she fought the monster. You see, it didn't destroy the town. It just ran away. She was right the whole time, all those years. All those girls. For nothing. I'm not sure if you want to hear this, Morelia, but you're actually cheering me up right now. Is there anything I can do to help? I just want to find my daughter. To beg her forgiveness and tell her how proud of her I am. Please, please be my mother. What were you guys talking about when I walked up? I was just trying to cheer up this young lady here. But she's just starting to realize what a loser I am. You are not. Then why didn't Mogchothra pick me? Well, uh, I'm not sure, honey. Maybe he was under attack by, like, enemy forces or something. Um... Who are you again? My name is Shay. I'm not from here. Listen, Twyla. It's time to move on. And do what? The Maiden's Feast is the only thing I've prepared for all my life. Well, I'm sure you're good at lots of other things. Like, uh, let me think. Not getting chosen for things? That's just mean. Well, at least your costume is cool. Oh, thanks. Made it myself. You made that stunning dress by yourself? That's amazing, Twyla. Meh. That lot of good it did me. Do you think you could make me a costume? Huh? Oh, I think that would be a great thing for you to do, Twyla. Well, maybe if you had a pattern and some material, maybe I could whip something up. Okay, I'll get a pattern and the material and be right back. <gasps> oh, exciting! Uh, 
Never seen this kind of material before. Can you sew it? Shouldn't be a problem. That's the spirit. Just get me a pattern to work from. I should be able to make this happen. There's that positive attitude I was looking for. Well... So, can you make me one of those? Oh, that's adorable. How old is your baby? Oh, it's for me. I need it a little bigger. Well, I suppose I could use this for a reference. There's my can-do gal. Well, only one thing to do now. Twyla! Don't worry! I'll be right back! Come on, Vera! Oh, who? I thought my teenager was dramatic. <laughs> Great! But what's with all the feathers? Just because I was working off a pattern doesn't mean I can't inject a little personal style, does it? Dear, you are an incredible talent. Get some. How's the whole patch coming? Great. Except I can't add the final ingredient until I know I have the pH balanced correctly. How would you change the pH anyway? I've added all the calcium carbonate I could get my hands on just to lower the acidity and raise the pH to be somewhere in the ballpark. But I need to know it's exactly seven before I put in the final ingredient. How'd you get the calcium carbonate? by grinding up every seashell on the beach, but I fear it's still not enough. Where can I get more calcium carbonate? That's a great question. If I could find just one more shell, that would help. Good luck, Dad. Mm-hmm. That might affect the pH, but until I figure out a way to measure it, I better not experiment. Sir, I hope you don't intend to eat that putrid smelling concoction. Nope. Woo! Just dipping your toes in it. But sir, I... Oh my. Not to question the mission, sir, but was there some reason you stuck me into that toxic potion? How's the pH balance in there? The mixture has a pH balance of... Five. Exactly. What are those, eggshells? Shells is shells, right? Actually, calcium carbonate is the main ingredient in all kinds of shells. Exactly. So you were listening to my night lectures on science. Uh-huh.
pH? The mixture has a pH balance of 8, exactly. It has to be 7, Shay. Hang on there, son. Do you know how acidic that fruit is? No, but my spoon will tell me. I will. With pleasure, sir. Mm, worth a shot. Report. The mixture has a pH balance of 6. Exactly. It has to be 7, Shay. How's the pH balance in there? The mixture has a pH balance of 9. Exactly. No good. We need to get it closer to 7. Any luck? I'm detecting a pH level of 7. Eureka! It's perfectly balanced, sir. Nice work, son. Now for the final ingredient. Just a small bonding and reduction agent. It's perfection. It's so small. A little goes a long way. Come on, let's go fix that ship. I love science. Just like my dad used to. Let me at that hull and I'll start patching her up. Sure, uh, go ahead. Hey, can I go down there? Uh, aren't you busy helping me find stuff for my ship? Oh, yeah. What's left? Still need an electronics genius, and uh, I still need a radiation suit. Hmm. Once we take care of that, we'll be ready to fly. On it. got a radiation suit. Great. Hey, uh, what's up with all the feathers? Extra protection. Recent tech advancement. You don't say. Well, I have been asleep for a long time. Hey, that song that makes your space conductor return to his last port? Could you play it for me? On this? Well, I can try. <laughs> I think if you're a navigation computer, that's actually a pretty hot melody. 